culty, but denying it. My wife and I were alerted by a friend to a documentary on HBO Max titled Love Has Won, The Cult of Mother God. So we decided to indulge. After about 20 minutes in and my initial thought of these people are fucking nuts, it occurred to me that this cult mentality is a through line in many aspects of humanity. Not to bore you with too much of the doc's story, but it's basically about a woman who managed a McDonald's and then, through a series of events, began calling herself Mother God. She enlisted followers online and eventually had her own cult-filled community all to herself where her sheeple would comb her hair, massage her feet, and light her joints while she laid in bed, drank vodka, and hallucinated on mushrooms. If I may digress here for a moment, I'd like to say that that's not a bad glow up to go from being a McDonald's manager to having a full-blown God status. Good for her. I am somewhat jealous. Her flock of curmudgeons truly believed she was a deity. They also claim that Robin Williams, yes, that Robin Williams, gave them directions on how to proceed through life. I am not kidding. There was a lot more to this freak show of a story, but let me get to the point. First, let me preface this by saying, yes, we all have an underlying want to be accepted and needed by others, but some take it to a whole new level. There are people among us that crave the idea of being needed, wanted, accepted, and part of something bigger than themselves so badly that they will abandon all logical thinking and immerse themselves into an overflowing poop tank of ridiculousness. It's been going on forever. Charlie Manson sheep, gang members, Trump supporters, Jesus diddlers, and Bible flamboyants in general, Jim Jones clowns, David Koresh sycophants, and the Amy Carlson fan club, better known as Mother God employees. There are a ton more examples, but you get the idea. This burning desire to be a part of a group at any cost lets me know that all is not well in society. It drives home my understanding of how fragile and porous our mental health is. It also lets me see vibrantly how a good majority of humans can't think for themselves. My guess is you'd have to be a bit cracked to give yourself over to some sick fuck who claims to be almighty, right? Or am I missing something here? What is so broken in some that they just can't be? Why all this hoopla? I will never truly understand this. I don't tout myself as being the most sane person on earth, but come the fuck on. There's a side note. While we were watching this documentary, I looked over at my wife and said, could you imagine me, Alex Scooby, being dropped off in the middle of this commune? <laughs> We both had a good laugh for a bit because if you know me, you know I would be very vocal in my disdain. Have a great day.